The attending physician took the notes from our doctor, but he said in no uncertain terms that he was going to make his own conclusions. Thank you very much. I mean, they keep on talking about, well, clinically he, he looked like that, and clinically he looked like that, so we didn't have to do X, Y, and Z. At the end of the day, someone dropped the ball, and um, unfortunately it was with our son. The doctor has to be a guidance system. He is not an oracle that knows answers. Maybe there's something wrong with the way we're running the whole operation. Memorize, regurgitate, forget. Memorize, regurgitate, forget. There's 500,000 deaths a year from mistakes in medicine. Where's the outrage? In every other field, they extended the hands and the eyes with instruments. That's why in the 1950s, when the computer came along, Scientists who were trying to get a rocket to the moon said, we can't do it. We'd have to solve this many differential equations at the speed of light. We can't do it. That machine can do it. Now we can do it. Well, why didn't medicine? Because we thought we could move knowledge from the books and laboratories to the patient through the heads of human beings. The human mind can be encouraged to press its limits to challenge, to question, to search. But then the general practitioner is actually faced with complex problems that require creative solutions all the time. We as humans have only this much capacity for facts. And the number of facts got larger than fits in this box called our brain. And the number of diagnostic errors increased dramatically. Of course we have all these mistakes. And it's not the doctor's fault. We don't have a system. Traditionally, to learn about a problem diagnosis, doctors went and looked in a book. Last 10 years, they went online, but they're essentially still looking at a book. But suppose you said to a pilot, you look in the cockpit, do you know what all those instruments are on the dashboard? Well, most of them, some of them I don't. <laughs> but we get there most of the time. Society could, if it were aware of the problem, change it virtually overnight. When I keep thinking, oh my God, I was born in 1923. I've been screwing around. We got to get something done. So I finally came to the conclusion, your generation has to do it. We're going to do it. You, you, you got to do it.